Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade. Today we're going to be taking a look at a wave pattern short here on the Russell. Uh, just got entered in short here at 49.4. First target's coming out at 48.3. Second target's going to come off 46.5, uh, 46.7. Uh, since we do have support right here at 46.7, we'll go to 46.8. Uh, and then the final target's going to come down here, 45.1 uh, should be good enough. So the way that this is looking, we are a little bit early uh, to the wave pattern here. You can see our trigger zone boxes right here. But uh, pretty much all morning, if we zoom out a little bit here, actually, I guess we don't really have to, we've been bearish ever since the open. We opened up and just never came back. Every single time, we just keep falling a little bit lower. And this has been going in very consistent setups in terms of waves. We have a drop, pull back, drop, pull back, drop. We're in a pull back. Guess where it's probably going to go? Drop. So that's kind of what we're looking at in this case. Uh, it, even though it is a little bit early, everything else looks beautiful for the setup. Uh, so I like the entry short, even though it's, uh, I, I wouldn't call it aggressive, um, but it kind of is in a way, I guess. Uh, but basically just selling right here, 49.4, looking for a little bit of farther continuation uh, to the downside again, just like we've seen all morning. Uh, so the first target coming off at 48.3. Once we get that one taken care of, stop and go to break even just like normal. And then after that, we're looking for 46.8. Now we chose that one because you can see here, we have the support coming right through here and our targets at 46.5. Well, we don't want to put our target right on support because there's a likelihood that it bounces off it, never fills us, and then runs away. So I'm going to front run that level by a little bit as well. So 46.8 is the next target below that, and then 45.1 a little bit farther down. So if we can get these filled, we're taking two off at 11, taking one off a little bit farther down at 26, and then if we can get a good drop lower uh, and get this thing really rocking, we're looking at 45.1 for 43 ticks. So all in all, we're looking at a pretty solid trade, overall 91 ticks, which definitely isn't bad at all. Uh, now, from what we've seen from the Russell, especially over the past, I would say, couple months, uh, the Russell's been very slow. We've been seeing really, really low volume on the Russell. So the movement that we've been seeing is kind of sporadic. Uh, today, it's actually coming back a little bit more in terms of volume. It's a little bit heavier than it has been. Uh, it's still not where it used to be, that's for sure, but we're coming back a little bit, so there's not too much concern in, in terms of volume playing in effect by any means, uh, but, you know, we're, we're in the trade. It may take a little bit longer because of that lack of volume that we've been seeing consistently over the past couple months, so we'll leave our stop where it is, we'll leave our target where it is, and we'll see how long it takes to get down there. We came close. We just need to see that push. So we'll be back in a little bit. See me at that target at 48.3. All right, getting a nice attempt to the downside, and there we go, we got our target filled. So we got our first target filled, stop's going to go to break even, and we're going to go to break even plus one in this case, 49.3, and yeehaw, we're getting a nice smash lower. Uh, fluctuated around a little bit, it took a little bit of time for it to get going, but we kind of expected that based on what we've been seeing so far, again, over the past couple months on the Russell. Uh, so not a huge surprise there, but we got that first target filled, stop goes to break even, now we're looking for a little bit more conviction to the downside, and we'll see if we can get that 46.8 hit, and if it really wants to go running, uh, then we're looking for 45.1. Now, there is a little bit of kind of a split in options here. Uh, we haven't really been seeing a huge runner on many of these moves lower, so you definitely have the option to lock in at 46.8 and just take the other two off there. That is definitely an option. Uh, if you see it get stacked up down there, you know, that might kind of be a clue. Um, but outside of that, I think we've we've got the room at least so that we can go and push down a little bit. We're coming one tick away from our next target. But uh, really, I mean, if I see it get really stuck around 46.8 or it can't get through it or it just, you know, it, it just can't push down, I'll lock my stop in. But I'm going to look for a little bit of a bigger runner because we haven't had a big run yet. Uh, we're just seeing kind of the, the slowdown that we've been really seeing this whole time. Uh, so we are breaking through that level if you took all of it off there. I don't blame you. You took two off at 26 on that final portion. Uh, with the way that this is setting up for me, I'm going to lock my stop in uh, and just go a couple ticks above that and just trail down where I can. Uh, but I am going to be looking for a final target a little bit lower at 45.1 to see if we can play a little bit of a bigger runner. Regardless, even if it does come back and you know stops me out, we still put away a really nice trade. But I'm going to give this one a little bit of room. The rest of the markets in terms of the indices are, are really trying to push right now. I'm seeing a lot of them pushing down. Uh, so I want to give this one a little bit of room to see if it goes. If the other indices start reversing as well, then you know we'll just take it off where we can get it. But right now it's looking like it wants to push down a little bit farther. So we'll be back in a little bit, see if we can get that 45.1, get that push down to the downside and lock in that 43 ticks. Otherwise, we'll just lock our stop in and take what we can get. So we'll be back in a little bit. 
All right, we're still maintaining that continuing bearish pressure here. We're coming pretty close to our target. Uh, one tick. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. So we got that target filled. I was going to lock my stop in a little bit tighter again, but uh, th this was kind of a little bit of a cause for concern. We fluctuated around that first target area. If we draw a line here, this was the first target area. Uh, but the one big thing to note is that we broke under it and we couldn't break through it. So because of that, it still looked really strong. If we would have broke above that and then started coming back, then, you know, drop a limit order back where that first target was and just get out of the trade. But in this case, we broke underneath it and we couldn't break back above. So we were actually seeing quite a bit of resistance coming in there. Uh, so locking the stop in above that little swing that happened right there was perfect enough, uh, and it worked its way down, and we got our target filled. So beautiful move down. Perfect example of sometimes with these markets, you need to give them a little bit of space to really work out. And if you see clues to stay in the trade, stay in the trade. There's there's no other way to say it. So in this case, we were able to lock in 91 ticks to the downside. If you got out a little bit early, you took about 20 ticks less than that, but still a really good trade. Uh, overall, $910 on only four contracts. Not bad. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.